Hey guys, it's me again. Just a really um, quick rant um, today. You know, I've been talking about going directly to the source for you know the past couple months or so. I'm talking about going directly to the Lord for revelation, for the revelation of the day and the hour of the rapture. Now, I've been saying that, you know, for over two months, maybe three, I'm not exactly sure, but I've actually been really saying that for many more months, but um, about two and a half months or so ago is when the Lord gave me these two amazing signs, you know, within a week, two separate, amazing, mathematically impossible signs. And um, I made a video or two videos about each of those signs, and um, you can look that up on my playlist if you'd like. But here's my point, guys. Uh, we need to go directly to the source. But when I say that, what does that truly entail, going directly to the source? Well, here's the thing, guys. Um, there's no formula. We just need to um, desperately, vigilantly go to the Lord and ask Him, beg Him, plead with him to give us a day in the hour. Just like that persistent widow. Lucky for us, he is not the unjust judge. And it is the Lord's good pleasure to give us that revelation. And as I've been saying, I believe that revelation belongs to the generation that will see the rapture. And um, I believe we truly are that generation. So how long do we keep doing this? How long do we keep quote unquote, going to the source. How long do I do that? The answer is as long as it takes. The good news is I've never had this urge ever to go directly to the source, like it's some sort of mission. And um, I think that's a good sign. I believe that's the Holy Spirit moving within my heart to um, just lead me into asking the Lord for that day and hour. And you know, as I've mentioned a few times in the past, the rapture is the single greatest mystery during this church age. And it's not really gonna come about easily, but it will come directly from the Lord. You know, there's no formula, guys. There's no rain dance. Um, that will extract the day and the hour from the Lord. He will give us that revelation when it's time to get that revelation. And I believe that revelation will come not too long before the rapture itself. In the meantime, we just got to keep on asking. And we also got to keep asking the Lord for strength and endurance to um, not get discouraged when he's seemingly not saying anything. You know, um, we just got to keep on asking him. You know, my personal prayer all the time is for the Lord to help my unbelief. Because as, you know, as much as I'm trying to encourage you guys, each and every single one of us to go directly to the source, I am not without doubt. I am not without unbelief. And a lot of that unbelief comes from just my flesh, me being skeptical by nature, and also from a lifetime of being brainwashed by the local churches, pastors, that nobody knows day and the hour is pertaining to the rapture. It is not. I've said that many, many times, and I know I sound like a broken record. And, um, you know, I say the same thing basically all the time whenever I make a new video. But, um, you know, it's not like all my viewers have seen my past videos before, so a lot of you guys have never seen any of my videos, and this could be the first video you're watching that I made, in which case, you should know where I'm coming from. We need to go directly to the source, and why do I say that anyway? Because a lot of you guys who are actually looking for the rapture, waiting for his glorious appearing, Many of you turn to um, these so-called watchmen channels on YouTube. 
but what I've been saying over the past couple months is that, you know, the Lord basically just opened my eyes that the reason these guys have been giving us duds all these years is because they're not going direct to the source, number one. And number two, they are serving mammon. Why do I say they're serving mammon? Because they're making money off of their ministry. Their videos are monetized. They're, they have their PayPal links in the descriptions of their videos. Their email addresses, you know, a million ways for us to send them money. Most of these Watchmen guys are doing it for money. And they might even feel entitled to it. And as I've been saying, guys, once you start taking money for your so-called ministry, the Lord's hand is no longer upon your ministry. We do not monetize ministry. We do not charge people for the Word of God. We do not charge people for revelation that possibly could have come from the Lord. And if you think you're working so hard that you're entitled somehow to other people's money, then stop doing this because this is not your calling. Is this my calling? I don't know. I'm doing it. I feel led to do it. And uh, my message is to go directly to the source. I believe that was the main point of the two signs that I received from the Lord two and a half months or so ago. Is to just tell me that He is able and willing to give the, 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 um, the revelation directly to us. Today the hour. We just have to be faithful. We just have to trust Him. And we need to slay the golden calves that we call the watchmen. There's no such thing as an office of a watchman when it comes to the rapture. We're to watch for ourselves. And the reason we watch is so that we will know. It, will, it may not be that far ahead of the rapture itself, but we will still know. And I believe that revelation is imminent. And the rapture will follow shortly after that revelation. So guys, um, I just, I just want to um, talk about that, you know, what is going to the source mean exactly. Just be faithful, keep on knocking, keep on asking. There are no special rituals, no special prayers, no special anything besides despairing for His appearing and pleading directly to the Lord for that revelation. And we can and will know that day and hour. Help our unbelief, Lord. That is my number one prayer. Anyway, guys, just um, that's all I have. Keep looking up. The birth pangs are all around us. They have not slowed down. Keep on asking. Keep on knocking for that day and hour. And he will reveal it to us soon. So thank you guys for watching. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully there won't be a next time.